Welcome back to another Terranscapes video. Uh, this video is a real quick one. I just want to show a, a small custom project that was requested. Uh, this customer wanted me to um, take some pieces out of my jungle terrain that I showed um, a few videos back and uh, incorporate them into uh, two inch by two inch dungeon tiles um, for use with the uh, pre-existing terrain set that he had. Uh, he particularly was interested in the sort of little carnivorous pod plants that I had done on the jungle terrain. And so what I've done is take those pieces, modify them slightly, and add them to um, the bases. So uh, let's take a closer look at those individual pieces and I'll show you what they look like. So here you can see the four uh, pod monster bases. And as I mentioned, the uh, customer uh, saw these in my jungle terrain and wanted them mounted to two inch bases. Uh, so um, taking a look at them, uh, basically what I did is follow the same styling as the jungle terrain uh, pieces that were incorporated into that set. But then, um, you know, these had uh, tentacle-like arms added to them and give them a little bit more of a monstrous look, uh, you know, sort of a grasping feel to them, and then adorned with just a few rocks scattered around on the bases. Uh, the customer wasn't very specific about adding a lot of detail to the bases, and of course he's done, um, I shouldn't say in a course, but he's done quite a bit of work in his own terrain adding lots of bits of detail. So uh, he may be adding some uh, bits to these, you know, uh, skeletons, uh, dropped weapons, I don't know, regurgitated limbs or whatever these uh, pod monsters might do. Um, but that gives you a quick look at them. Uh, I think they actually came out pretty nicely and uh, shows um, some of the flexibility that can be had with these kinds of pieces to incorporate them into a variety of settings. So that gives you a sense of how some of these kinds of pieces could be modified to fit other themes. And um, Ben at Ben's RGB Pile, I hope, will enjoy these pieces um, as they are a little unique, something I haven't done before, but again shows how um, things can be modified. So uh, we'll keep this one uh, real short and brief, uh, but I do hope you stay tuned to the channel. I have another video coming up uh, very, very soon. And um, as always, questions and comments are welcome down below. And I'll talk to you soon.